Hi everyone, I'm Reverend Sarah, and today I wanted to talk to you about why you shouldn't trust the Fifth Principle Project. Last month, the Fifth Principle Project sent out another round of emails to congregations for support. Strangely, their mailings seemed to target office admins, lay leaders, and board members, not ministers, who would typically be the person to contact about church programming. The thing is, the Fifth Principle Project isn't what it looks like. On the surface, it bills itself as being about the right of conscience and renewing the democratic process. And those sound like things Unitarian Universalists cherish. Even their slogan, every voice deserves a vote, seems on the surface like something no one could disagree with. So an office administrator might look at an email from them and think, this is relevant to our church, I'll throw this in the newsletter without running it by the minister. The thing is, the minister probably knows better. The Fifth Principle Project was founded by two white men who are upset about our denomination's racial justice work. They promote this kind of vague conspiracy theory that the UUA headquarters in Boston has taken over and is forcing all of us to follow a creed. You can find evidence of this couched in doublespeak on their website, with quotes about how the denominational governing body has lost touch with the spirit of its mission, and drifted to top-down, ideologically driven governing model, which is wild because I should hope we govern based on our ideals and values. But anyway, it's a sleight of hand. The Unitarian Universalist Association Association of Congregations is a democratic organization, and we focused on racial justice work because it's in line with our religious values, and because a majority of UUs think it's important. That's democracy working. These two guys didn't get their way, so they've started a campaign basically alleging that the tyrannical UUA is stomping all over democracy and depriving them of their voice. On their website, they insist that only by exercising our collective voting power can we have a voice in setting the direction of our faith movement. In other words, they know they lost. So now they're trying to trick enough you use into supporting their fake cause so they can gain a voting majority at GA. And they're doing it by sneaking behind your minister's back to infiltrate the church. Yes, they have been told by ministers that what they're doing is not okay. I think the real work of the Fifth Principle Project is to start conflict and promote white nonsense, and ultimately to tear apart the denomination, which is why I made this video, to warn you not to fall for their emails. Even if you're not sure about all this anti-racism stuff, you can be pretty sure that this group is not trustworthy. And I don't think they have the best interest of your church in mind. I hope you're all staying strong in your faith and involved in your church. Take care for now.